So we always say you've got to give your boss the flick and buy a Jim's franchise, but it's not every day that one of your own staff members does that to you. So we've got Greg, who's part of our media, media team, and does all the great video work and editing that you see online. And, and Greg's basically decided to give us the flick and buy a Jim's franchise. So just want to talk about which franchise you're buying, Greg, and why you're buying it. Yep, so I'm going to be going with the mowing franchise. And the main reason is money. I mean, it's sort of seeing all these franchisees talk about how much they're making, doing all these interviews and stuff, that's always a really big incentive. Um, it's also just seeing the system for what it is. So from the inside, going to the training, filming all the sessions and whatnot, like it's sort of, yeah, it's built to make the franchisee succeed. And that is, yeah, a really good incentive. Yeah, so we'll make it clear. So Greg's job is to come out with myself and we go and we talk to franchisees and interview them and all they talk about is how much money they're making. I should have done it years ago. And I can imagine from your position, just behind the camera, and you're hearing how much money they're making, going, geez, why aren't I doing that? So it's good on you for taking the action and doing it. It's not good for us that we're losing a good staff member, but I'm really happy for you to do it. But in regards to um, trial days as well, so you have gone on some trial days, and how, you, how have you sussed out the whole, the whole Jim's Mowing franchise? Yeah, so I've been on three trial days so far, um, and every time it's just sort of, Again, you sort of like you hear the stories from someone who's actually been on the road. Uh, he's been there for four years, so it's sort of like he, he knows how it all works. He's seen it all, and sort of getting that feedback from somebody who's not on the national side. So it's actually like you know he's in the position which I'm trying to get into. Um, it's really good seeing him be completely honest about everything. And again, it just sort of comes up as a really big positive. So what we're going to do is this is day one of training. And we're going to do a whole week of Greg's journey. So Greg is doing the gym's mowing training as well. So we have the three day generic training, which we're going to do and do a summary with. And then we're also going to go and extend it for the gym's mowing training, which ends on the Saturday. So we're going to check in with you each day, Greg, to give a whole full real account of the training week and, and all your thoughts about it so that people can get a really good inside look at the training. So we're not happy that you're leaving, but we're very happy that you're, you're done. You're going to be running your own business. We're really happy for you, mate. Thank you. Day one of training, we had Jim come up and speak first. He goes over his ethos and how he runs his business and how he became so successful. And it is really good to hear those guidelines, um, his focus on customer service and how that is the priority as well as the franchisees and our well-being. It's great to see that he's a real person, that he cares about the franchisees. Uh, he gives us his phone number, his email address, and that's something which I feel a lot of bigger companies would never do. Um, and he actually encourages us to contact him. So that is a really good start. Uh, next we had Sam Robertson who gave us quite a few sessions. One that really stuck out to me was local area marketing. That's what you can do on the ground of your business. Letter drops, by talking to people, networking, B&I groups, things like that. Um, and what really re resonated with me was uh, he has a 10 point plan which he talked about, which basically one of my worries in my business is that I'm not buying a split so I don't have customers from the go. So I've got to start from the bottom, I've got to build up my database relying on leads and those first few weeks where there's like I'm not going to have a guarantee of getting leads on day one, yeah that worried me a little bit and it's sort of you get a certain amount of points for doing certain amount of things in terms of if you go to three businesses within your territory and just introduce yourself and say hi I'm Greg from Jim's Mowing and doing that kind of thing, building that rapport, you get two points. But like a letterbox drop is one point, and it's sort of like the whole list of different tasks that you can complete that is working towards your business. And that is something which I really, really like the sound of, because I, yeah, you sort of worry about just sort of sitting on the couch and waiting for the phone to ring. Uh, whereas this is a way that you can be proactive and sort of measure that. Um, so that's something which, yeah, I really, really got out of that training session. And yeah, at the end of day one, I'm feeling very inspired. I'm very looking forward to seeing what's more. Okay, day two of the generic training. And again, I'm walking out feeling really, really confident. Um, there were a lot of speakers this time. We had Anush first, who went over Jim's Jobs, which is an app that we can use to schedule clients, understand who, which clients we've got, what day, do invoices, things like that. Um, it is a really, really handy tool, and he just goes over the basics of how it works. Then we had John Wilde do the oh and which is 
never going to be a huge amount of fun, but it is a complete necessity as a business owner to be aware of your obligations and that side of things, which is something that I am happy that we were able to do. The next up was Dan Cahill, who did uh, Building Your Business, which was a really, really good session. He's so passionate about his business, how he's done, how he's gotten from point A to point B, uh, being in debt in a hard place to now one of the most successful franchisees and a franchise all within Jim's group. Um, and it is very inspiring to hear him tell his story about how he got there and what we can do in our own businesses to help put us on that track as well. So that was a really good one. We also had Matthew Watts, uh, who gave us a few sessions. Um, one that really stuck out to me was the resilience in business, which, yeah, you need to have a bit of a thick skin um, when you're first starting out in particular, but just to sort of be able to handle rejection, handle people turning you away, handle when things go wrong within the business, because it will. It's one of those things that with a business you are very volatile, and particularly when you're beginning. Um, and having those tactics and the ways that you can adapt, understanding support that you've got, particularly within the gyms group, that was the type of thing which you went into and I really got out of those sessions. And finally was Joel going over the social media stuff and with no, no bias at all. Um, I definitely appreciate that side of things. Um, uh, the strength of social media is just, it's ridiculous. The amount that it can grow your business and he's, he handles the session very well in that a lot of people have no interest um, in doing it. A lot of the people who are joining up as franchisees are allergic to computers. Um, so he lays it out in a very easy to understand manner while also people who are a little bit more like, yes, what can I do? What, what are the applications that I can be using? What are the yeah, things that I can do? He lets you know all the tips and tricks, uh, shows you examples of what's worked, what hasn't, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, it is a, it's a good day overall. I've really appreciated it and it's sort of, bring on day three. Day three, which is the final day of generic training. And again, I feel like I've gotten a lot out of it. First up was Nicole Wood who talked about uh, franchisee business operations, um, which she is a very, very good speaker. Um, talks from experience, which is one of the things which I am really getting from a lot of the trainers is that they are ex-franchisees, current franchisees, uh, current franchisors, people who've been on the ground and seen how things work and have fallen in their own ways and can sort of tell you what they've done and how to avoid that, what they've done right and how to replicate that, that kind of thing. and. Um, yeah, that's something which Nicole was really, really good with. So next up was Donna Shearer, uh, going over the bookkeeping and that side of things, uh, which was very, very important. Uh, it's definitely good to understand your obligations in terms of GST, your BAS, all of that kind of thing, uh, what you need to be doing, when you need to be doing it. It is a general overview, but um, I feel like she goes into all the important parts where, like if you're going to employ somebody like make sure you talk to someone first, make sure you don't mess things up from that point of view because you can get into trouble. Um, and she sort of warns you of all of those types of pitfalls, which is huge. Then we had Steph uh, talking about Gyms Online, which is the system that we use to sort of manage your leads, manage where your territory, that kind of thing, like where you're taking things and all of that kind of stuff, uh, your clients. Um, and she's really, really good. Uh, goes over everything, goes through each of the tabs and what they mean, what they do, what the consequences of ticking which boxes are. And it's one of those things which we as franchisees absolutely need to know um, and she pre presented it very well. We also had someone, Mo, um, who is a franchisee who's only been working for six months and has been absolutely killing it and it is really, really good. Uh, he was only stalking for about 15 minutes but Again, he's just got a huge amount of energy, a huge amount of enthusiasm for what he's doing. It is great to see those people who are succeeding and again, have him talk to us about how he's gone about it um, and what we can do to try and do the same things. And last up was Jim again, uh, going over his income, like how to increase your income and that kind of thing, which is really, really good to hear from the CEO and sort of just had a decent bit of question time where we could ask him anything that we had on our minds about anything at all and just sort of really solidifies his 
availability to us and how we prioritise is our well-being and success as franchisees. It's something which is really, really important to him and that is very clear from the way that he runs all of these training sessions. And Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good and looking forward to doing the mowing training now. So this is the day four of training and the first day of the mowing training. So all of this I haven't seen before. Some of the other stuff I've filmed, uh, sat in on sessions and whatnot, but the mowing side of the training is completely new to me. Des Warren uh, had us for the whole day and he took us out uh, to have a look at the trailer as much as he could during the weather. It was a bit, bit bad, but um, it's really, really interesting because I've never driven a trailer before. Um, a, a lot of the people as well, uh, other franchisees hadn't either. Yeah, it's good to sort of have them have him go over the basics and what to look out, out for, make sure you're latching everything up, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm actually not going to be getting a trailer. Um, when I first start out, I'm gonna be getting a ute and then building toolboxes for the, the back and that's how I'm going to do things to start with, uh, just because I'm in a position where, I, where I'm living, I can't park a trailer at all, I've only got one car spot, so that's how I'm going to get around that. But um, yeah, it is still really, really good to know, and particularly because long term, I would like to be able to have the trailer as well, just for the extra space for equipment for all of that. So it's, yeah, it was a very valuable thing to learn. Then Des went over the, sort of an introduction to horticulture, which is a whole range of things which I've never heard of, thought about, anything like that. Things like pesticiding, herbiciding, fertilising, all the things you need to do to be keeping your lawn at that top level, um, which, yeah, personally, I've only ever mowed my own lawns and done that side, so really, really simple domestic stuff. So knowing what I have to do at a commercial level, at a professional level, um, I'm feeling a lot more confident after this course because, yeah, Des is an absolutely brilliant speaker. He's a really cool character. Um, lots and lots of information uh, from him. So, yeah, it's been a really, really good first day of the mowing training and I'm looking forward to the rest. This is day five of training, uh, the second day of the mowing training. Uh, again, I feel like I've just taken so much out of this course. We had John Wilds for the whole day. He did the OH&S on the second day of generic training and he did another OH&S course with us, more geared towards the specific stuff that we handle as gardeners, as mowers. Um, so <clears throat> things like climbing on ladders, uh, using heavy machinery like your hedge trimmers, like your chainsaws, things like that, what to be careful of. Um, yeah, it is again one of those things which not super exciting, but it is absolutely necessary for us to know. So he also went through operating a uh, franchise efficiently, which is really, really useful to know. So it's a lot of the little tips and tricks which you learn. Things like keeping a roll of rush cutter cord on you while you're out on a job so that if you run out, you have it right there rather than having to walk back to the trailer. Little things like that. Um, the order to do things, so edge, mow, blow, uh, things like that, which as someone who is as green as I am, uh, it is really, really good to get all of this information and hear what works, why it works, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's been a really, really good session there. He also, uh, there was a product demonstration where we had a few brands come in and sort of talk to us about differences and what they've got. John also went through sort of the difference between battery versus petrol, which is a pretty big debate in the industry at the moment. Personally would like to go battery long term, just for the, the ongoing cost will be lower, that kind of thing. But obviously it's going to be a pretty big front upfront cost if I was to go all battery from the word go. But at least I know what my goals are long term and what type of stuff I want and what I'm looking for. Um, he also went through servicing your mower, which is pretty important, obviously, um, as that's a massive part of our job. And even little bits which are really intelligent, like when you're doing your servicing, it sort of takes an hour every however long, like every week, every month. Do it out on your front lawn where you can be seen. Do it wearing your gym's outfit. Make sure you've got your trailer there, all of that kind of stuff, so that that way you're seen while you're doing it. And he was saying that he gets people walk up and talk to him just while he's doing that kind of thing. So even though, you're at home doing your basic maintenance 
management stuff, you're still promoting yourself, you're still out there in the world. It's really eye-opening as to how powerful the brand is and things like that can work. Yeah, um, it's been a really, really good day and I'm looking forward to my last day. So the final day of training, I am going to be a bit sad I've missed it, but it was a very early start, 8 a.m. on a Saturday. Um, but yeah, we had John again, so John Wilds, who is a, as I've said, a really, really good speaker, really, really enthusiastic about his job, a current franchise all went through scheduling with us to start with, which doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun, but it can make such a difference in your business and sort of trying to condense your route because it's sort of, I've, I've had a few interviews with people where they're saying they've done 20 odd jobs in a day and when you post something like that online you get a lot of comments sort of saying oh that's impossible we do ridiculous like yeah right or that um, but as you get bigger you condense your area uh, so you're in a smaller and smaller space until you can get just down to one suburb kind of thing and if you're working a hundred jobs a week within that one suburb it's not ridiculous to say that you're doing 20 in one day because the, the driving around is so minimal. And it's things like that, understanding where your clients are, certain ones have certain needs, so like you have to be here at 5 p.m. or, or 3 p.m. or whatever it is. Um, and just managing all of them um, and trying to make the best route for yourself. And it's never gonna be 100% perfect, things are always gonna go wrong, jobs are gonna take longer than you think, but it's just sort of, he's putting us into that mindset where we need to be aware and try and do the best that we can in that uh, side of things. So yeah, it was a really, really valuable uh, course lecture thing. <laughs> um, then one of my favorite things that we've done throughout all of training was practical quoting. So that's something which I'm a little bit apprehensive about and I'm assuming a lot of other franchisees are a little bit worried um, is doing your quoting for the first time, sort of figuring out what you think you're worth, what the job that you're doing is worth. John just explained things in a very good manner. Never do something that you're not, you, you wouldn't pay someone else to do for you um, because what we're basically doing is saving our clients time and what that time is worth is a variable that we've got to figure out and what job we're doing so if you're just doing mowing, it's you charge a little bit less. If you're gonna be doing gutters, you charge a little bit more, that kind of stuff. Figuring out what each job is worth and what your time is worth um, is really valuable. And he had us, like, because gyms is a massive complex, which has a lot of areas which could use with some gardening work. So John took us around as a big group. We walk over here and sort of, he'd say like, how much would you charge for doing this specific area of grass, just the mowing, just the edging, that kind of thing. And we'd all write down in our little notepads what we were going to do. Um, took us up and we did like quote on some gutters, quote on doing the pruning on these particular hedges, like all of that kind of thing. Um, so we all walked around, all wrote down our numbers and then sort of gave us all a pretty good idea of how it all works. And yeah, that was a really, really good exercise. I feel a lot more confident now in what I'm charging, why I'm charging it, justifying it to myself as much as anybody else. So yeah, that's something which I really, really got out of it. Last thing that I sort of want to go through is the facilities at gyms and the I've not been staying at the conference center which a lot of people have um, if you're staying from interstate uh, so yeah if you're from interstate you come and you stay at the conference center while you're there um, and everybody that I've spoken to have, have talked up the facility said how brilliant it is the rooms are wonderful I can also attest to the food is <laughs> really really good so yeah, kudos to the facilities that are available at gyms. Um, and yeah, I've absolutely loved this whole week. I feel ready. I feel confident in going forward. And I know I'm not starting my business immediately, but I really believe that I can do this. And I would feel considerably less confident about all of this if I hadn't done this training course. And yeah. Bring it on.